The video explains about the optimization of a single stage operational amplifier in Cadence Virtuoso. For optimization process, consider a single stage op amp designed with 5 transistors and a capacitive load with 1 picofarad. Before we go for optimization, let us perform the DC analysis to know the DC operating point and region of operation of each transistor. For that, go to the launch. You can select either ADEL, ADEXL or any of this. I am going to use ADE assembler. Click on create new. OK. The view is master view. Click to add the test into the assembler. Select the design name. Click on OK. Select the analysis. For that, click to add the analysis. Select the DC. Save DC operating point. Click on OK. Either you can run this from here or you can check out the design and check in. Right now, I will click on run simulation. So, these are the node voltages. But I want to see the operating point. Go to the results. Click on annotate DC operating points. Now you can see that what are the currents that are drawn by each of the transistors. Here the DC current that I have provided is 164 microamperes. The same current appears here. This 164 microamperes is divided into two parts, but it is 72 and 72. The total result is 145 or 146 microamperes, which is very less than this. And also, I want to know the region of operation of this. Simply, here you can click on annotation setup to view this or you can go to view annotation setup. Here you want to see the what are the region of operation of each transistor. Select the PMOS 1 volt. Here only the drain current, VGS, VDS and transconductance are visible for each transistor. I can add one more point by clicking here and search for region. Click on apply. You can see that for PMOS, both are in region 2, which means they are in saturation. Similarly, for NMOS, you can double click here and find the region. Apply. You can see that all the transistors region of operation. This transistor is in region 2 saturation. 
saturation region this is also saturation region but this tail transistor is in region 1 and also the current is very less than this so this is only 146 microamp here it is 164 microamps now i want to change the region of operation to 2 and i want to increase this current for that i can perform the optimization so as usual go to the master view and add the expressions from here or you can add from here right click in the design area add expressions for operating point analysis select operating point this is the transistor which i want to optimize current to around 160 microamps so select this transistor operating point from that select the drain current id click on this gear symbol to add it to the window similarly again one more time click on op select the transistor from the list select the region click on this to add it to the adl window so these are the expression which i have loaded Let me delete this empty. I can rename them as current and this one with the region. Once this is done, and uh, you can add the specifications as well, right? I want to have since it is an optimization go to the range I want to have the current of 163 micro amps to 163.5 micro and the unit is amps and the region of the operation select it as tolerance i want to have the region of operation of this transistor in 2 with a tolerance of 5% now just once these are given click on run simulation Here I will be checking the DC analysis. From the op amp, I can find that the drain current is around 160 or 146 micro, which I have got here, and the region of operation is 1, and it is a failed one. But my specification is to get 163 micro. Since I am getting this current, this condition has failed. I want to optimize it. To perform the optimization, go to the parameters, click on parameters. So you can add all of these transistors PMOS followed by second PMOS. And what is that I want to optimize is the width, width of the both transistors and you can select this match parameter because they are identical since they are current mirror. Click on this match parameter, the parameter is added 
Similarly, these two are differential pair. They should be identical. Select these two. In that, you can optimize the width, length and multiplier as well. Right now, I am working only with the width. Click on match parameters. That also added. This tail transistor should be optimized individually. For that, select the transistor, right click and click on create parameter. The parameter is added. Similarly, for this transistor, add the or create the parameter. So all the widths of the transistors are added as parameters for optimization. Here you can select the length as well. If you want, you can create the parameter. They will be added here. Now you need to define the value of the parameter. So you can provide right from 0 0.5 micro incremental steps to let me give 10 micro. I will copy the same for the rest of the all the parameters. You can increase this if you want. I can keep 15 or you can gradually increase them in the later stage also. All the parameters are added. Now directly go to the master view. See that all the parameters are listed here. Since the parameters you can evaluate it. So for that go to the local optimization to perform the optimization process then click on edit reference point initial values has to be added here for that select or click on this click on all parameters the default value is 2 micrometer click on ok and if you want you can change the algorithms for local optimization. I will use Brent Powell. If you want, you can use BFGS or conjugate gradient as well. Click on OK. Once all these are done, click on Run Simulation. So starting the local optimization. Observe the optimization process. For various values of PMOS width, NMOS width, so it is checking all the combinations. So still in the region 1, which is a linear region. So optimization is being performed here for various combinations of PMOS width and MOS width. You can take the length also. You can see the number of iterations are increasing. 32. Right now it is 31. Gradually the optimization changed to region 2. 
observe here forty one forty two now it increased to fifty nine so it is performing more and more number of iterations till the target value is achieved. I want a current in the range of 160 microamperes and region 2. Now it has increased to 75. So it is performing or computing lot of operations to reach the targeted value. It is 72 iterations are completed. So it has finished the simulation and it has reached up to here. Now let me click on this and check for detailings. I am able to reach the or make the transistor to operate in region 2. I have passed. First aim was ok. But this is the nearest we have approached up to 160 microamperes instead of 163. So I can choose these values as my design parameters. For that, just on this parameter tab, you can right click and click on back annotate. Can select one, any one of these values, click on back annotate, then click on OK and see that the parameter values of the op amp are applied here. 10.5 earlier I have taken the value as 2 micro, now it has changed to 10.5. Both are 10.5. Now it is 10 micro, 10 micro, identical. And this is in 2 micro. In this way, you can perform the optimization and check the targets that you want.